Welcome to Jink Play TCG. My name is Landon and here we play Jink. And today I want to talk about a card that I have missed a lot. Um, it is, yeah, this direction, Enhanced Hammer. I think it is time for a reprint um, right now in the TCG. I know rotation's coming up and a lot of special energy will be leaving the format. I really think Enhanced Hammer should have been printed in Silver Tempest and or even Crown Zenith. Uh, there's just so much special energy acceleration with Archaeops and just so much special energy in the format that I'm really surprised we never got Enhanced Hammer. Sure, we got a uh, Fan of Waves and that kind of stuff, but I don't think Fan of Waves was really the counter that we needed for Lugia. Um, if you haven't seen, Lugia is just the best deck in the format, period, I think. Um, does it always win? No, of course not. No deck is 100% winning all the time, even at the big tournaments. It's just, you know, in the Orlando, was, was it was it Orlando? I think it was Orlando, uh, the top eight of that regional. Um, what It was six Lugia V-Stars. <laughs> Six Lugia V-Stars. And Lugia V-Star is always running Archaeops, and they're always running a ridiculous amount of special energy. And Enhanced Hammer wouldn't even do that much to completely change the field or anything, but it would give more decks an answer to Lugia. Um, even with Lugia playing Blissey sometimes, Blissey needs to power up after a while. Uh, getting those special energy out of the discard, attaching it to itself to hit those big numbers. Um, I still think Enhanced Hammer has a space in the format currently, but we don't currently have the card. It's really sad, too. Um, last time Enhanced Hammer was in the format, it was printed in Guardians Rising of the Sun and Moon era. Uh, fantastic set, in my opinion. Uh, lo lots of fun stuff came out of Guardians Rising. Darkness of Blaze, uh, or not Darkness of Blaze, uh, what is it? Burning Shadows right after it kind of overshadowed. <laughs> uh, kind of, uh, just made the Guardians Rising and the follow-up set, Crimson Invasion, look terrible. But I don't think those sets were nearly as bad as people say they were. Um... But Enhanced Hammer was so key in that format. Because I remember back then we had double colorless energy. It wasn't twin energy or double turbo energy. It was just pure double colorless energy. And it just provided two colorless energy for any Pokemon. You know, uh, non-rule box Pokemon and rule box Pokemon. GX Pokemon. It just provided two colorless energy. And Zoroark was huge in the format. And even during that time... We had a card called Special Charge. I'm going to switch over to BTCGL just to be showing off these uh, cards, you know? So, let's go ahead, go to Trainers. Or, actually, let's go to Energy. First, we have to change this to All Formats. And so, Double Colorless, right here. Lots of different art uh, of it. I personally like that, but I believe this was a Sun and Moon era art. A little blurry. There we go. Um, no, not according to that set symbol. Was it this one? This one. You get the idea. <laughs> that, that wasn't even it. There we go. There we go. There is a Sun and Moon base set, double colorless energy. Just double colorless energy provides two colorless energy period no ifs ands or buts about it fantastic right um often played with zorark gx zorark gx was one of the best cards in the sun and moon era um tons of people played it it was a very popular engine however where this um was i think healthy for the format compared to the engines that we've seen uh currently not saying they're bad engines but having the trade ability and giving up two prizes however 
Zoroark really became an issue because of its riotous beating, where two color of synergy, this attack does 20 damage for each of your Pokemon in play at the time. That was huge. Uh, six Pokemon in play, that's 120 damage. At, at the time, that was huge. Uh, it's weird to talk about this because currently in the format, if you're not doing 200 plus, you're not even competitive. Where Zorark GX literally ruled the format at 120 damage. Oh man, with a choice belt, like a choice band, whatever it was called back then, you're doing 150. And that was huge. That was unbelievable in the amount of damage sorry that is a rant for a different time a rant i've been working on and i can't get right that's a different rant but it went with zorark really well uh and so enhanced hammer let's i uh, go back and enhanced hammer discarding that special energy kind of removing your opponent's ability to attack multiple times in a row they would attach the double colorless attack and then on your turn you'd probably play the enhanced hammer get rid of that double colorless go into the discard pile and they are struggling to get another energy because at the time it was actually fairly common to just run double colorless period for zorark um if i'm remembering correctly which i think i am uh, counter energy might have also been a uh, decent play there. Uh, yeah, it's right here. Um, isn't a GX or an EX. So, no, that didn't work. Uh, yeah, I think it was just running for energy, if I remember correctly. Um, and even back then, in that format, we had... Where is it? Special Charge. Special Charge is an item card. Shuffle two Special Energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. Now, this was back in XY. So, once XY rotated out, there was a period of time where we had Enhanced Hammer and no Special Charge. I, I actually really enjoyed that. Um, I do think there was another way to get Special Energy. Let me, if we just scroll through this real quick, something will come to mind. Um, I'm not seeing anything, so I guess there wasn't... Uh, but special charge, being able to recover that energy, wasn't nearly that big of a deal. Now, if Lugia had access to special charge, that would be huge for Lugia. Being able to free up a lot of space in the deck because you can bring back those energies. You don't need an overabundance of energy just to power up a couple Pokemon to attack. You would have special charge to bring back some of those energy into your deck, Archaeops to accelerate them. However, without special charge, I think... Uh, enhanced Hammer would deal a massive blow to Lugia. And while Lugia would still be one of the top tier decks, I don't think it would be nearly as overpowering as it currently is. There's just something beautiful about Enhanced Hammer, how it is such a brilliant energy counter because it only discards special energy. So especially in today's format where... Uh, I mean, myself included, playing the uh, Lost Swords of Justice, you know, you've got these Lost Box decks that use Mirage Gate. So Enhanced Hammer is going to do nothing against those. That, that Mirage Gate only accelerates basic energy. And I think that's the beauty of Enhanced Hammer, where, yes, it is a very powerful card, limited to four in your deck, because that's all that you can play. But discarding just special energy, not even on a coin flip either, that sounds broken when you're playing with like Crushing Hammer. Here, if I just search out Hammer, well, it all pops up. Wait and see Hammer. Eh. Yeah, so Crushing Hammer re relies on a coin flip and you can discard any type of energy, which is phenomenal, but flipping tails on that is just terrible. Where Enhanced Hammer is not a coin flip is a guarantee only working on special energy i think enhanced hammer missed its call coming back into the the game um i think it would have been a brilliant reprint for crown zenith at the very least or even in uh scarlet and violet i'm still hopeful that enhanced hammer is going to come in another future set because it is just that good of a card um it's just healthy for the the format in my opinion being able to guarantee 
anti a card. Um, actually, I'm going to switch back. In a way that a uh, fan of waves just does not equate to. Fan of waves is an item card, and you put a special energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon on the bottom of their deck. That doesn't matter when there's cards that are searching out that special energy and attaching it like Archeops, or even in a Rapid Strike deck, when you have Octillery searching out your Rapid Strike energy, Fan of Waves didn't do much. It hit the format, and honestly, I felt like it just wasn't doing enough to, to really hurt my opponent. A lot of times, using Fan of Waves putting their special energy back into their deck was actually a good thing for them uh, with, against single strike decks. Single strike decks had Houndoom to accelerate single strike energy and Phantom Waves putting it back into the deck just let Houndoom accelerate to a new Pokemon instead. And it was just really messy. I, I don't think Phantom Waves really equated to Enhance Hammer quite as well. Um... Fan of Waves does have certain benefits. Being a Rapid Strike card, Octillery can search it out. So it is still a decent card. I think it's actually fairly balanced against Enhanced Hammer. But without Enhanced Hammer, th there is no balance. Fan of Waves just isn't good enough. We needed Enhanced Hammer to be in the format. So that there would be enough Special Energy hate. Hate. Uh, Anti-Special Energy, whatever you want to call it. Um, where then people could consider, well, if I play Fan of Waves, it's not as powerful. It's easier to get, though, thanks to Octillery. So there's this balance to it. There's enough Enhanced Hammer out on the field, you know, in the general meta of the game, that Fan of Waves might not be a bad play at that point. Against Lugia, it's just a bad play, period, in my opinion, just because Archeops searches the deck for special energy and then attaches it and you know jobs a good one but enhanced hammer enhanced that way enhanced hammer is where it's at uh i i really think this needs a reprint what do you think of enhanced hammer did i do a good enough job explaining how good enhanced hammer is and why i feel like we need it back or are you just staring at me going you're, you're crazy dude like Enhanced Hammer is a busted card and shouldn't be seen ever. I would love to hear your opinions about it, especially if you played during the Sun and Moon era. Not that I don't want to hear your opinion if you didn't. Um, actually, I, I, I said especially, but I want to hear everyone's opinion. If Enhanced Hammer came out with Crown Zenith, would you love it? Or would you think that it is... A broken card and needs to be banned let me know in the comments below i would love to have this discussion about enhanced hammer it's just one of my favorite cards my earliest decks always had them a uh, lolan radicate deck that i absolutely treasure to this day just to show off the alolan radicate uh, uh come on come on here it is here it is watch out this Alolan Radicate. I know the image is a little blurry. Maybe it'll clear up. Um, yeah, there we go. Enhanced Fang. Zero energy. Ten damage if the tool is attached. Fifty more. Of course, that tool is going to be a choice belt, choice ban, whatever you call it. So you're doing thirty more. So ninety damage for zero energy on a stage one. Awesome. That was my first, first, my own creation deck. My first jank deck. Maybe I should do a history about my own jank decks. Uh, let me know your thoughts on Enhanced Hammer down in the comments. Please like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you are enjoying what I do here. Um, you know, also, once we hit 100 subscribers, which we're getting actually pretty close. Uh, at the time of recording this, we're at 84. So hopefully that will keep going up. Um, once we hit 100 subscribers, we will have a Discord channel that people can join and talk about jank decks and you know maybe reminisce about the good old days where enhanced hammer and a uh, lonely eradicate were actually good <laughs> the sun and moon era my favorite era of the tcg so far um i really hope scarlet and violet just bring back those memories of the evolutions and everything 
Okay, rant over. I need to jump off this. This video is already five minutes longer than it should have been. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And of course, until next time, keep playing jank.